He said, ah, ah, how can we shut our mouth? Concerning what we have seen with our two naked eyes, we cannot but do what? Preach. Now, John, you need yourself. Should we obey you or God? Now, they went away. And then they, they continued. And this time they caught them. In short, they caught, they caught Peter and put him in prison. Maybe it's today some people would have told, told, told Peter. If today they say, Are you the only Christian? Uh -huh. They say, Don't tell people about Jesus. They want you, you say, Wait, are you the only Christian? Uh -huh. How can a child of God be saying such? For that child of God. Are you the only one? Are you the one? The, 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 the if the sister, they will say, uh, How do they call them? Uh, uh, whether Badi Mary or Mama Mary or whatsoever. Uh -huh. Are you the only one? I mean, you see Christians saying that. People that call themselves Christians, as far as I'm is not a Christian. You don't discourage a Christian from obeying the commands of God. You respect them. You encourage them. Holy you brothers, they encourage, they respect God fearers. And not only that, he that sweareth to his own heart and changeth not. Hmm. In other words, what the psalmist is saying is that holy dwellers are those who keep to their promises with determination to fulfill it. He said, He who swear to his own heart and changeth not. That means, I am going to do this. And they are determined to do what? They don't change their mind. That is why, because I believe Solomon saw a lot of things. He saw a lot of people coming to the church and they swore to their own heart, but they are changing it. And that's why Solomon said in Ecclesiastes, let me read it quickly. Ecclesiastes chapter 5. Look at what uh, Solomon says. He said, Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God, and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. For they consider not that they do evil. Be not rash with your mouth. And let thy heart be hasty, and let not thy heart be hasty to utter anything before God. For God is in heaven, and thou upon earth. Therefore, let thy words be few. What is he saying? You don't just go and say, Oh God, if you do this to me, I'm going to do all this, I, I, I will do it. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. You are telling God you are going to do this, you are going to do that. You don't do that. You don't just open your mouth and talk anyhow. You must be somebody who keeps to the promise of God or to any promise you made and you are determined to fulfill it. You must be determined to fulfill it. Don't go to the house of God and say, hey, I'm, I'm, I will do this. Without feeling it, no. Holy dwellers are good at keep to their word. Keep to your word. Keep to your promises. Don't just open your mouth. That's why, the, that's why the Solomon is saying, he said, let thy words be few. When you come to the house of God, let your words be few. Don't just put my promise in here. Amen. Amen. Holy he dwellers. In the book of Psalm 15, we are still observing Psalm 15. Verse 5. He said, He that put not out his money to usury. He that put not out his money to what? To usury. What does that mean? He had no interest when lending out money. Only dwellers are those who if people are in need, you understand? And they come to their brother, sister, please, I need just 50 pounds. Can you lend me 50 pounds? I'm going to give you by the end of the month. You know some people, some people call themselves Christian. They say, hey, you give me end of the month. Say yes, all right. Uh, since you want to lend it for me, you see, it's not easy to get money this day. You know, in this country, pound is very difficult to get. So what I will do, are you sure you give, you pay me back? Yes, but you are going to pay with interest. That will prove to them you are very serious. Interest? Yes, now. You want money. Uh, if you don't pay with interest, then go. Uh, okay, I will pay. How much interest? Okay, let us see. Okay, let's do it this way. If by the end of the month you didn't pay me the, the, the money, I'm going to have five pounds. Ah, five pounds is much. Okay, go away. Ah, okay. Because the person has gone to various places, Nobody seems to give the person money. The person will not say, okay, I will pay. And what if I don't have it? I have, you see, you're already saying if you don't have the money. 
If you don't have the money, if you don't give me each day that the money is with you, I'll be adding one one pound. That is wickedness again. That is wickedness. Yes. Holy you dwellers add no interest when they lend money to people. You are not the bank. Yes. You are not bank. If you are bank, it's separate. Your own money you have in your pocket, you give it out freely. In fact, you can even give the person the 50 pounds and say, go with it. You don't need to come with it. The Bible says we should care for one another. We should take care of our brothers and sisters, love one another, even as Christ loves you. What the Bible has commanded? But people do it. I'm telling you, people do it. They do it all. But I'm very, I'm, I'm very sorry for those. If you are hearing me, you are still doing it. You are, you are 50 pounds you give to brother or sister, or you give it to somebody. It may be an unbeliever that, you are, that is uh, asking you for money. Uh, maybe in your place of work, or maybe in your, in your, in your vicinity, and uh, you give the pounds. You are adding interest. You are adding a cost. The Bible says you are not part of the Holy dweller. So you need to change. Because it says, if he that put him not out his money to usury. This is not condemning man. Some people will say, eh, 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 banks are putting interest. If you put money for this is not bank, oh, this, this person really very well is not talking about bank. It's talking of you as an individual. You are not a bank. Amen. So you should not add interest. If you do that, sorry, you are not part of those that are recorded in the book of life. You need to change today. Finally, not take a reward against the innocent. Only dwellers are those who do not take uh, reward against the innocent. What does it mean to take reward? Reward that is refuse. That only brother are put that refuse to set people up. To set what? Say they have told the truth. So you know, you know what happened. <laughs> you know, you know. Um, 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 they said they gave. Uh, you know when Jesus Christ resurrected. Hmm? When Jesus Christ resurrected, the army that were guarding it, they all they were all sleeping. They fell dead. When Jesus Christ, when they woke up, now they to God. Ah, the place they knew. Christ resurrected. So they went to the, the Pharisees and said, ah, Jesus Christ, the guy resurrected though, he said, ah, who told you that he resurrected? Ah, he resurrected. Okay, now. You, are you sure? I say yes. Okay, now. We, we are going to. He said, hey, if, if Pilate hear that the place is open and this and that, the people said, no, don't worry, they have to send the money. Don't worry. And the Bible said they gave the soldiers money. That when Pilate asked you, Say that when you were sleeping in the night, the Zabu came to steal the money and we shall defend you. We shall defend you. The Bible says, holy dwellers are those who, are, who refuse to set up people. Now, that is a way of setting up the disciples. So that if the soldier said that, the high priest will not come to the ah, they will not be looking for what? For disciples. These are high priests. People that are supposed to be God's representative. We are here today. Holy dwellers are those who refuse to set up people. Are you setting up people? By, I mean, are you, are you trying to take reward? Again, the innocent said, give me money. Judas, Judas did it. He said, how much will you give me? And I will, I will hand over Jesus. They said, give that piece of silver. He said, give me the money. And they gave him the money. And he did what? He set up Jesus Christ. Holy dwellers refuse to set people up. They don't, they don't, they don't encourage set up. They don't get themselves involved in setting up people. And that's what the Bible is saying today. It's how it's saying, you should not do that. You should not get involved in setting up people. In Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 33. Isaiah chapter 33, I'm going to read verse 15 here. Isaiah 33, 15 says, He said, He that walketh righteousness and speaketh uprightly, he that despiseth the gain, he that despiseth the gain of oppression, that shaketh his hand from beholding the pride, behold, for, from holding uprights. That's the way you hear from hearing the blood and showing his eyes from seeing evil. You know, just a summary of all, all what we have been saying today. Holy he dwellers. Holy he dwellers. They are those that control their tongue. They don't plan evil against their neighbor. Neither do they reproach their neighbor. Holy he dwellers detest wickedness. They respect those that fear the Lord. They keep to their promise with determination to fulfill it. They have no interest when they lend out money and they refuse to set people up. 